Welcome back to Effects Forum. My name is Ryan. We're excited to have you here today. We're going to go over. Welcome back to Effects Forum. My name is Ryan. We're excited to have you here today. We're going to. Okay, I don't like that. Um... Welcome back to Effects Forum. My name is Ryan. We're so excited to have you here. Let's create some epic fog effects. Whether it's for Halloween, concert season, theater nights, or fire training, fog effects can make or break your event. You probably have an idea of how you want it to look, but when you put everything together, it ends up completely different. In this episode, we'll be sharing some tips on how to create mesmerizing fog effects by breaking it down into three main categories. Machine selection, fluid selection, and settings. Before we dive in, let's start by understanding how a fog machine works. When you turn on a fog machine, the heating element begins to warm up to its specified temperature. Once the heating element reaches that temperature, the fluid pump draws fog fluid from the reservoir and pushes it into the heating element. As the fog fluid passes through the heated chamber, it rapidly heats up to its vaporization point. The vaporized fluid is then forced out through a nozzle, where it mixes with the cooler air outside the machine, creating a thick, visible fog. Now, obviously there's a big difference between your entry-level machines and the professional machines such as the Prodigy Pro. The internal parts of the Prodigy Pro are extremely high quality, and each component is carefully calibrated to make sure you get the highest quality fog that is safe to breathe from a machine that is built to last. Now that we have a basic understanding of how the fog machine works, how do we choose the right one? There's quite a few factors to consider when choosing the right fog machine. Let's start with the space you're trying to fill. Is it a compact space inside, or is it a giant field outdoors? Generally speaking, the wattage of your fog machines determines how much volume of output you have. The higher the wattage, the more volume of fog. Now, this isn't always going to be the case. As we talked about before, different machines have different components that influence how much fog output you have. This is just a good general starting place. Let's say you're in a 30 by 30 room. The 1200 watt Prodigy would be perfect for that space. If you have a 50 by 70 stage, the 1500 watt Prodigy Plus would be ideal. And if you're outside trying to fill a football stadium, the 2000 watt Prodigy Pro would be your go-to. You also have to consider the style of fog you're going for. And there are different types of machines, such as stage foggers, low-lying fog machines, or upshot fog machines. For instance, our Prodigy series of fog generators is great for large plumes of obstructing fog. But if you're looking for a high-pressure vertical fog effect with enhanced lighting, the Atlas is the champion. Now, it's important to note you're not always limited to vertical or horizontal fog depending on your machine. Most professional machines come with hanging brackets that allow you to mount it at a 45 degree angle. Or if you have the Atlas, you can actually mount it upside down. The next thing to consider is how you want to operate your machine. Do you want to operate it via timer, a remote, DMX control, manually? How often will you be fogging? Most consumer grade fog machines from 400 watts to 1000 watts don't have internal timers or volume control and they're really not built to last. If you plan on fogging every day and need something more reliable with more control options, you wanna to lean towards the professional grade machines that start around 1200 watts. Last but not least, let's consider your machine's warranty. Again, these consumer grade machines typically don't come with warranties. If you're only looking to fog for a day or two, that might be the option for you. The more long-term solutions like our Prodigy series are backed by three-year warranties or 10 years if you go with the Prodigy Pro. Next up, we have fluid selection. But before we get into that, it's important to know the science behind fluid composition. Here at Master Effects, we manufacture over nine different fog fluids, ranging in different densities and hang times. Each one of those is a different composition that requires a different vaporization temperature. Now, why is that important? Fog fluids are manufactured with a variety of ingredients, and those types of ingredients and the quality grade of those ingredients affect the fluid's vaporization temperature. Inexpensive fluids are typically manufactured with substandard ingredients and poor manufacturing processes. This results in foul odors, excess moisture, and very underwhelming fog. For premium quality and safety, Master Effects manufactures our fog fluids with pharmaceutical grade ingredients and UV deionized water. This results in a refined, pure, safe, and pristine fog. The difference in fog fluids doesn't end there. There are different types of fog fluids. Long-lasting fog fluids, quick dissipating, low-lying. There are multiple fluids to choose from in each category as well. Every one of our fluids has a unique density and hang time, making the creative possibilities limitless. We have our machine, we have our fluid, now it's time to put the two to work. Getting your machine dialed in correctly is critical for creating realistic effects. You could have the best machine and the highest quality fog fluid, but if your placement is wrong and your settings are off, you're gonna have a bad time. Again, it all comes down to the effect you're going for. 
Do you want a large blast, a slow trickle, a quick burst, perpetual fog? If you prefer a set it and forget it approach, use a built-in timer to determine your fog output, how long it's fogging in the interval between each cycle. This is also a great way to manage and monitor your fluid consumption. If you want to operate your fog machine manually, you can do so with the onboard operating system or with a remote control. Many professional machines will also have variable output control, allowing you to manage the volume of fog. Pro tip, it's important to keep in mind that the longer the fog is going, the longer the warm-up time in between each cycle is. If you want to fog until the end of time, go with the Prodigy Pro. Its dual heaters will literally fog forever. Forever. MasterFX also offers customized solutions for automated fog, action-triggered fog on rides, or app-controlled fog in the ceiling of an arena. You dream it, we build it. Fog machine placement is also paramount. Fog rises as it interacts with the atmosphere, which is why we recommend keeping it on the ground so you get even coverage. If you're in a stagnant environment and you do need airflow, you can add a fan. Place it right next to your fog machine and it'll help move it across the stage. Fog machines do have a tendency to be a little bit loud. So if you need fog where it's quiet, or if you want a high volume of fog without the initial blast, try ducting your fog. Make sure your ducting is at least six inches away from the output of your fog. This allows it to atomize and get airflow behind it to help disperse it. This is also great for low-lying fog effects. Speaking of low-lying fog, I know we didn't spend a whole lot of time on that, but that's because we have a whole new video coming out explaining the different types of low-lying fog, how to achieve it, and different ways to duct it. So stay tuned for that. Getting creative with fog effects can elevate your atmospheric production and make your events stand out. If you have any tips, please leave a comment below. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. We're always excited to chat. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.